So folks, just going to show you a few more novelty golf balls I own. I've just found a collection of logos. These are golf balls that are just novelty items. So you've got golf balls that are made to look like a tennis ball. Uh, it's just been the Wimbledon men's tennis final on TV today. Um, so there you go. They're unbranded. They don't have a brand of golf ball like Titleist or whatever. They're just unbranded. And they're more for just display. Yes, but I don't know how good they are to play with. Um, but anyway, tennis ball is what I got on this set. Basketball. I mean, they're just novelty things. They, you might put them on display if you've got a display cabinet for golf balls. So tennis ball, basketball. I think that's supposed to be a rugby ball. Yeah. Rugby ball. Uh, baseball. Okay, so you got the baseball. Uh, next one you got soccer ball. It almost looks a bit like the you, you've probably heard of the Callaway Truviz golf balls. They they get that printed hexagonal shape on the balls these days. But football, I mean, it's very gimmicky like that. And the sixth one in this particular set is um, the eight ball from a game of pool, I, I presume, like snooker, we call it in England. But pool. Um, it's a black golf ball with number eight. So six in that set. I've got one set out of the bag. It's already in the space. That's two sets, third set, four, five. So I've bought six sets of these. Um, whatever you do, be careful. There are people selling these on eBay for way more than you can buy them from um, online in China. Um, I'm not looking to make a profit on these. Uh, these I would just simply sell at cost or swap for something else that I want, basically. Um, but there are people trying to sell these for like £10 each on eBay and stuff. Like that. That's just ridiculous. They don't cost anywhere near that amount if you buy them from China, directly from the manufacturer. Um, and, you know, I've even seen them for like 20 quid for a set like that. 20 quid for six balls, you're being ripped off. I'm sorry, they're closer to a pound each, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'll have to double check how much I paid exactly. And then, of course, you've got postage on top of that. But, um, yeah, there are people just taking the mickey online, trying to sell these at stupid prices. So, anyway, there you go. Lovely six set of balls I've got. As I said, I've got a few more. So, um, I haven't decided yet. I might give some to some relatives, for, like, you know, little kids. So, I'm probably going to end up with three sets to swap or sell with people. They're already here in England, so, you know, that eliminates all the postage charges from buying them from China. Um, so again, if you're if you're looking to buy any of my other spare duplicate logos, um, that I'll I'll tell you what I've got in another video. I've got some of these. These will be included for sale or swap. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Oh, I'm, I should actually say one more thing. Um, when these arrived in the post, first time I've ever seen this. Royal Mail had stuck stickers all over the bag to say. Found open or damaged, officially secured. So whoever wrapped this up in China and posted it to England, when I when I opened up this packaging that Royal Mail had re resealed, yeah, there you go. There's a great big items item damaged on arrival in UK, and then they give you this, dear customer, we are sorry, the enclosed item to you was received damaged. Um, and you can't read it because I'm going to put stickers right under it. Um, if you think any items are your consignment, blah, blah, blah. Royal Mail is unable to something or other receive damages from other countries. So basically they're saying if something was missing, if I think something's missing, I should contact whoever sold these to me. Um, so yeah, be careful when you buy stuff from China. Tell them to wrap things up better than, than I managed to get them. When, what I was going to say was when I did open that, the, the, envelope the padded envelope that they were sent in like this just a gray padded envelope um all the balls had come out of one of these package packages and were loose so all they all these are these little plastic bags we've got that plastic to press down into the groove to keep shutting them they'd all spilled out so you know if these were on a ship these could have gone missing um fortunately i was honest enough to say none were missing but you know when you don't package up your goods properly to ship them things will go missing uh, anyway, enough about these golf balls. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.